Hello. So I have was scouring the website or YouTube for like videos on this particular hotel, which is Homewood Suites uh, Convention Center, U.S. North Capitol. Um, and there were a lot of different rooms, but nobody had like the video or walkthrough of this particular room, which is the um, accessible tub room. It's room 1006. Um, it's on the 10th floor. Uh, one thing to note is on the 10th and 5th floors, there's no ice. Um, but uh, you can get ice on the other floors in the lobby. So that's a little bit of downfall of being on the 10th floor. But <clears throat> just wanted to give you guys a walkthrough real quick of this room. So here is the entranceway. I'm not going to go outside because I'm wearing my pajamas. <laughs> um, I guess if you have a connecting room, you would connect here. There's nothing on this side, but as you walk in, there is a mirror to your right, and the kitchen is to your left, and it comes equipped with a microwave, a dishwasher, a um, induction stove. Um, this is my air fryer, I brought it from home. Um, and a full, well not a full size, but a, a decent sized refrigerator. Um, has refrigerator on top, and the freezer on the bottom. Now they, I guess because you can't get ice on this floor, they do give you ice trays. And then I'll let you see what's in the cabinets. Here's your ice bucket with bag. I moved, since I put the air fryer here, I moved the coffee stuff up here because I never drink hotel coffee. But they do have a coffee maker with the pods and then all the fixings for it. And then here is your, here's the coffee cups that were also down here on the counter. <clears throat> cups, uh, mugs, uh, bowls, plates. Um, they have like a rice cooker, it looks like. Um, a little, one little Tupperware, oops, sorry. Tupperware, a rice cooker, and some other microwave type of Tupperware. And above the microwave, I <laughs> is our food that we have. Here is the dishwasher, full-size dishwasher. This does not open. Here is your utensils and pot holders. <clears throat> Comes with a wine opener, can opener, big old knife, spatula. <clears throat> and then down here is, you have a big pot, a smaller pot, and it looks like a medium-sized saucepan. All right, so that's the kitchen. Oh, and it does come with a working garbage disposal, and they give you soap and all that jazz. So here's the kitchen. We'll walk back over to the main room. So it comes with a, um, forgive all my stuff that's here, but a dining room table, I guess, with two chairs, a lamp, and then these actually come out as chairs also from this table. Or it's actually one big like stool. And then this is a, I'm guessing a full size sofa bed. I haven't actually pulled it out yet, but yeah. Um, here is the seating area. I kind of moved the chairs a little bit because they were way out. Um, but you can move the furniture around if you want it to. And then a TV that swivels, so you can move it whichever way you want. Um, it does have both TVs, because there's another one, um, has a HDMI USB, so we were able to plug in our Fire Stick and connect it to the internet, which is complimentary. So, ignore that. And then here's a book with all the information about the hotel. We've got three drawers here. And then let me show you the curtains. So um, it, the remote is usually right here, but the curtains actually are remote operated. Now from the 10th store to the 10th floor, this is the view that you would get. Um, down there, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a Safeway, and in the Safeway there is a 
a Starbucks and a pharmacy. And then if you uh, turn the corner right here, there's a CVS down the street. And if you walk a little bit further, there's a Walgreens. Plenty of dining options in the area. We saw like 10 restaurants uh, just from here to where like the Walgreens is at, which is only like a few blocks away. So um, that's the 10th floor. I'm going to go ahead and close it because even though it's December and it's like in the 30s, it this window is like heating this room up like really fast. So we're going to close that. All right, and then I'm going to put the remote back. Okay, let me show you the bedroom. Again, forgive our mess already. So here's the bedroom. Again, you have a TV that has a um, USB input or well, output, really. Um, and I don't know if you can see it, but they have the HDMI, so we were able to put in our fire stick. This also swivels. You have three drawers and a cubby area. Here's the closet. Now, in the closet, they actually had the ironing board in here, but it was, like, diagonal. So it took up a lot of space, so I went ahead and moved that to the bathroom, which I'll show you in a second. But there is a safe here and hangers. Your extra bedding is up there, I guess, for the sofa bed. And then the iron. So you can close this up. <clears throat> it's a double door closet. It's not very big, honestly, but it's fine. Um, these curtains are not... Uh, electric so you have to close those yourself but um there's curtains and they give you a little clock there's no usb input or anything like that but um, a plug is right there so that's good and then on the other side it's the same setup almost except for instead of a clock there's a phone but got your switch okay all right, I'm going to try to do this without showing myself on camera because I really I don't want to be seen. I'm in my pajamas and my hair looks crazy. So here's the bathroom. Here, how about this? I'll step out. I'll show you the bathroom. Okay. So you get your towel set up and then it has an accessible tub. Again, I don't know which rooms have this. We actually were put into a smaller room, which was 1004, and it had like a standing shower. And the room was actually much smaller. So um, I asked them to move us because I was not happy. It's not what we had signed up for. But even over here, there's accessible bars and hooks for your towels. And then one sink, <clears throat> like I said, I moved the ironing board in here so we had more room in the closet. But um, you have your soap, tissues. This does not open. I think it's just an accessible bar. And then over here, got your standard stuff, basically. Makeup room or towel. And then you got one drawer with your hair dryer couple of storage spaces that's basically the bathroom so that's it um i like this room much better if you can request one of these type of rooms i don't know if it's just accessible rooms or what i asked for was one with the seating area so this little seating area right here with the windows i asked for that specifically and at first they did not understand my request and they put me in like a much smaller room i have to say it was like at least at least 80 feet square foot smaller and it actually smelled really bad it smelled like smoke so I ended up having to go across the street to the grocery store to buy one of those little um, air freshener things but this room is much better it doesn't is non-smoking so you may want to request a non-smoking room if, you, if that matters to you um, but we really so far are very much enjoying this room and are very happy here so we'll be staying here the next few days and if anything changes I'll put it in the comments that, um, you know, if there's anything else that to note <laughs> during our stay. And look, they have like cool pictures. We're gonna be visiting there in a little bit. There's another Washington Monument. All right, well, if you have any questions, let me know. And I hope this video was helpful. Thanks, bye.